Howdy, folks. Just sitting out here on the deck. I'm going to try to air out some things here. Admittedly, my patience is extremely thin today. And it'd be very easy for me to fly off the rails like I've done in the past and say things. And it'd be not taken with the same level of, I guess, clarity. Importance. Let me just preface it by saying, I'm a real person. Okay, I'm a real guy. I have a family. I have friends. I have things that I contend with every day. I have businesses I'm running. And amongst all those things, in the few seconds that it takes me to treat Twitter like you are all one of my closest friends and I share something, like it takes you just a second out of your day, some friend, some family member, an employee, a boss, sends you a text message. Is your day completely upside down and come to a complete halt because you stopped and responded with a text? No, your day just keeps on going. So many of you don't realize it, but you're in my pocket all day long. And if something comes up, if I see something that's been tweeted, either gets a wild hair up my ass about something I see, or if I just want to encourage someone or give them a high five saying, you know, keep doing what you're doing. Or if I point to something I think is going to unfold in the marketplace. I pick up the phone, I type it out, I'll snap a chart and share it. But this week has been, uh, it was hard. This is a difficult week for me. I've been trying to be a good husband to my wife, which is a normal thing, but we're trying to land this property. I've been working on it since July when they first listed it. And I had a signed offer in July, and then I pulled out of that offer because we found out that it had a conservation easement, and the septic system was encroaching upon that. And I wanted to have some surveys done and inspections done. And I didn't trust that the, the property would have those things in my favor because our listing, or not our listing, but our buying agent recommended that we didn't buy it because I have a class A RV and uh, RV not, it's not a cheap one. It's not like a Winnebago type thing. It's a pretty high end unit. And I wanted to be able to bring that to that property. And she said that it's probably not a good idea to get the property because it doesn't look like they allow that. So there is no HOA there, but we were made to believe that there was because of the paperwork. Long story short, and you're probably all getting bored already with this, but I ended up outbidding another buyer and $2 million property in this kind of climate. There's not a lot of people out there trying to do that, at least not in uh, Harper County. The property sat there for a little while and I put a second offer in. Now I knew they were entertaining another offer. So I went in a little bit higher than I was originally offering. They wanted $1,975,000 as their lowest one. I, I contacted them privately. I said, listen, what's your lowest to take and seal the deal up? That was the number they gave me. So that went in with that offer. The only other offer they had was coming in with no inspections, all cash. Well, I was all cash anyway. So to beat them out, to make sure they didn't even entertain them anymore on day, I went in with no inspections, all show. And they signed. After the other offer, said, okay, we're pulling out. We're, you know, if you're not going to give us a signed contract, we're done. Well, as you can see, if you pull up that property I shared, and a lot of you are like, why would you do that? What do I got to worry about? Because it's public record. I, I, want, I want folks to understand something, okay? Vinny e -Mini, Vincent Marchi from Texas. Yes, I'm saying your name again, okay? I extended myself to have a conversation with you in front of everybody, okay? 
You and I have talked in text and in email. And I don't give a fuck if you show what I said to you. Because what I said was sincere. You want some kind of closure to this. Okay? And I was willing to work with you in that regard. But the same bullshit drama that you keep going on and on and on about because you think this is going to be a version of me back in 2012 through 2016. But you're doing it all wrong, man. Yes, I wanted everybody that had a following on Twitter and I called them all fakes. So I said, Try, trade better than me. I did that. I did all that stuff. And yes, I got a following from that. I was like the Steve Austin on Twitter with a demo account. <laughs> I disarmed everybody. What are you going to say about me? I'm coming at you with a demo account, but I can trade better than you, call it better than you, execute better than you. Not just you, Vinny, everyone. And no, what are you going to say about me? What are you going to say? Nothing. Because your words don't mean shit, man. You put up stuff and you lie. You take a little bit of truth and you mix it in with all kinds of bullshit. Do you think anybody that's studied my stuff, that's making money right now, gives a flying fuck what you make a video about? They don't. Now, I'm going to say this because I said I was going to do this in a live stream. I invited you to do a live stream and I would call in. I even said that I will even tell you right before I call in, I will text you and let you know I'm getting ready to call in. These are all the things I stated I would do because you feel like you need. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll help you with that because you're wrestling with something that I don't even think this is going to fix for you. You've done more damage to your own brand than anybody could have done, dude. You got to stop. It's toxic. Yes, I was there on Twitter years ago. I don't know exactly when this was in terms of months because, dude, my life in the last six years has been a whirlwind. I have so many people I'm contending with as students, people trying to still come into mentorship. Stop fucking asking me to join the mentorship. I'm t free. Stop. It, it, what else do you want? I'm giving it for free. But you started something with a guy named Adam Webb. Now, I don't know all the, the details of how it began, but I'm going to tell you what I know. I know Tom Dante, Tom Pisson, whatever the fuck his last name is pronounced like, Adam Webb, they were both trying to dox me. Adam Webb said he was going to do a trading competition and said, you give me your personal information. And he literally wanted me to give him, give me, rather, me, him, all of my personal information. What the fuck do you need my personal information for, dude? Go into the fucking competition and then let's see who does what. I already knew this piece of shit couldn't trade. And then at the time, I don't know how it started with you, Vinny, and Adam, but something happened and you guys started. And Tom, Adam, and you, and me, we were going back and forth in DMs. And I felt that you had brass and you were like, well, fuck it, let's go. You know, let's, if you want to trade, let's trade. I saw you trading, dude. You were talking to me and right before this drama, right before this shit blew up on Twitter, I told you, I would love to sit in and invite all of my audience to watch what you do. I told you to do that. I fucking told you I was going to do that. Very next fucking day, you get out there on Twitter and you start blasting. Now, I'm trying to build my brand up. Everybody's talking about, oh, well, Chris Laurie, uh, you know, <laughs> listen, okay. I did not learn shit from Chris Laurie except for the term Asian range. I don't even use an Asian range like he does. I teach it as a multiplication of that range extended down and, and above the marketplace. That's it. I don't even do anything with him. And I actually clarify where his limited exposure and teachings about liquidity voids, which there really isn't a liquidity void in the sense like he's teaching it. And I expounded it on that. And you all are seeing it. I know when the void is going to close in. I know what's going to stay open. You don't get that from him. And I'm not here to trash him, but I'm so tired of all these boys hanging around in, in circles talking about how, oh, yeah, ICT learned this and ICT is Chris Laurie's secretary. Let me tell you something. You never see Chris Laurie execute shit. Period. I'm out here proving it. I'll call a level, then I'll execute on it. 
Vinny, you know I can trade. You wanted one of us who had a, a bigger following to give you a lift. You know what? You're trashing me constantly, and I was the only motherfucker that was willing to do it for you. And you went out there and started causing some ruckus. And I'm trying to build my brand up at the same time. Dude, how am I going to co-sign with you? I'm going to, hey, look at this. This guy's going nuts, getting down in the dirt. And maybe you should have, okay, after learning what this whole thing was going on about, because I only know what was coming from Adam West Tom through DM. I don't know what the fuck you're, you're actually doing. I don't know what he's actually saying to you. I mean, Hitman, you're going to hear the ice cream man. <laughs> I don't see Joe Biden around here. You know, give him a couple minutes. He might show up. Oh, shit. He went there. I don't know what the, what the details were about what was going on, what you were saying to one another, but I know it got real dirty. It got nasty. And yes, I know he made some public remarks about your wife. And I s stepped back in me. I was like, okay, listen. Everybody that knows me knows that I don't pull punches. If, if, if you are going to stand in front of me, I'm going to roll on top of you. If you dare me, I'm going to run over top of you. I'm never going to say anything about anybody's family. And I wouldn't want anybody fucking with my family. But Vinny, you're fucking with my family. And my patience is fucking gone. You understand what I'm telling you? It's fucking gone. I tried to be a civil gentlemen about this whole thing i tolerated a bunch of bullshit from you you lie you fucking talk all this bullshit and again i extended again i said listen let's squash this stuff i'm in agreement yes you got beat up on twitter years ago now I, listen i had a following i could have very easily stepped out there and said hey you know what fuck you adam webb fuck you for doing what you're doing but i felt that you were handling yourself you did not give me any inclination at the time when you first started going to war with this guy. Like you were needing any assistance. And you're telling me you reached out to me. Dude, you have any I fucking idea how many people try to reach out to me? I have so many people constantly. Then when I was accepting DMs, I don't DM anybody because of all this bullshit. I couldn't keep up with who was fucking reaching out to me. My own fucking students that paid me couldn't even fucking reach me. They still can't. I got literally I have 80 some thousand fucking emails. There's no way I can humanly fucking go through those emails. I can't. And it's not because I'm a dick. It's not because I'm blowing you off. I just can't do it. I can't. I cannot find the time. To, if I just answered all those fucking emails, you'd never hear from me. Nobody would ever learn anything. I couldn't make a video. My wife would probably divorce me. Knowing what you've told me, what you were, dude, I'm sorry I didn't rise up and fucking smash this fucking guy. But literally, I tried to stay the fuck away from that. I didn't want to be involved in that because it got into the line of family. Am I wrong for doing that? I'm sure in your eyes, you're going to say so. In other people's eyes, they might think, oh, you know, you should have did that. You should have did that. But at the time, man, I was managing people. That were high, having high expectations of me. And my whole day was nothing but 17 hours of that bullshit. Constantly trying to keep people on the right page. Making sure they got access to their accounts. I mean, it was initially it was just me doing it all. And it was a lot. Nobody from my fucking household. Or me ever sent anybody to threaten your family. That never fucking happened. And you need to stop bullshit. It never happened. You put all this fucking horse shit out there because you want to make a name for yourself. Dude, I told you, listen, stop all your bullshit. Stop all your fucking lies and just say, you what? I was pissed off at you. I wanted to get your attention. You've had my attention. You've had my attention. I've told you, listen, I'm not sure what the fuck you're trying to go on about, but you're not taking me down, motherfucker. OK, that's not how I'm going to go up fucking hard. I'm going to I'm about to hit the afterburner. I'm going to go up into this fucking stratosphere. Now, either you can squash this shit. And start repairing the image that you've tarnished for yourself, because honestly. Before all that shit happened, 
when you used to reach out to me, when you were just say, hey, man, you know, take a look at this, take a look at that. I looked at your channel. I watched you. I watched what you were doing. I didn't understand what the hell you were doing. There's too many things on the chart. But I saw you. You were. And that's why I told Tom. I said, honestly, I don't think Adam can fucking trade. But Vinny does trade. And you seem like you had it under control. Why do I need to jump out there? I listen. I don't need to do this with you. It could be just as easy for me to sit back and just let you talk out your ass, make up all this bullshit, and watch you never really grow. But I understand if you think that you're owed something and you're going to just go at it constantly, like I told you in email, there's a lot of traits that you and I share. Once you get something in your head, you're just going to keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And unfortunately, in this instance, you're trying to promote something that I'm actively proving the other corners is the reality of it all. I absolutely can fucking trade. And there is absolutely not a motherfucker walking on Twitter, not on fucking YouTube, not at Goldman Sachs, not at fucking JP Morgan. Bring your motherfucking shit. Let's fucking go. One account, one account number shown publicly. I will roast all of your motherfucking asses. You want to come here with your, your your posse with people? I will do 10 times your whole fucking click. Let's go. I don't know why the fuck you guys are all pretending. Like, I didn't show up here to dance. I'm here. Let's go. Why the fuck do you think I came back to Twitter? I came back here for all that smoke. <laughs> Give me all that shit. You put it in my hand. I'm not passing it. I want all of it. Why is it so hard to understand? We can have fun doing it. I don't have to be a dick about it. But you all had some fun. All these years, you had all kinds of fucking fun. I'll let you have it. Talking all that shit. Oh, ICT. Oh, ICT that. And you guys make me a bigger deal than I am. Just because you talk about me. Sitting around. Oh, yeah, but ICT didn't do this. But ICT didn't do that. If I stop, none of you ever will be able to do what I've done. I forgot more than you're ever going to learn. So, yes, Benny, you want to. I am absolutely 100% sorry. I did not, number one, see your need to have backup to smash a fucking fraud like Adam Webb. Okay. I mean that. I wish I would have said, you know what? Fuck you, Adam. You're a piece of shit. I wish I would have done that. I wish I would have done it. Because Tom didn't want to do it. He's pussy. He's still scared of you. And you say you have a friendship with him. You don't have a fucking friendship. You have somebody that doesn't want to see you doing this shit to them. And have you noticed it hasn't done a fucking thing to me? It hasn't done anything to me. I sat back here like you're living in a B movie. You're some fucking Bond villain. Or maybe it's vice versa. <laughs> I'm the Bond villain and, and you're James Bond. Whatever. When that guy called you up, I believe you uh, you identified him as Shane Fields. I don't know that to be certain, so for public record, I don't know, and I'm not saying that's a fact. I don't know that. But somebody sent me a heads up, said, hey, look at this. Look what's going on. And I went over to your channel that day, and you were sitting there, and you were going at it with somebody screaming and hollering. And that man... Whoever he was, and I don't know for certain if it is because I'm only going by what you say to the public, but you stated, it's my neighbor's kid acting up in case you hear that, so I don't have little ones. <laughs> when that guy starts yelling at you saying that he's going to do something to you and your family, I was in your chat room. You can actually go back and look at your recording of that, and you'll see me saying, this is fake. This is a skit. That's, in, that's me in there saying that. I'm really in there as it's happening live because I honestly thought until he started threatening your kids, when he said, you know, he's going to come down there and, you know, and see you face to face. Ah, that's just, you know, in my mind, I think that was just you working out a pantomime. You're, you're just trying to get some kind of a, an attention, some kind of crowd. But when the shit started talking about how you, the, the children are going to get hurt, I, I was like, what the hell? 
that twisted my stomach up because I was like, okay, I don't think anybody would go this far with it. Even you looking at it backwards still, I still wouldn't think you would do something like that. And some of the things that guy said, you know, I'm going to be real honest with you. Whoever that was, they need to go to jail. I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks about it. That's not normal. That's not fucking something that anybody should endure. I believe you have tools in your home to take care of anything that might happen like that. But the uncertainty of anyone feeling like they got to live like that, wondering if somebody's going to come to their home. That's something that nobody should live with. And I have a wife and I, I saw what that was like to see that. And I had to turn it off. Like I, I couldn't, I couldn't watch that anymore. Now I can sit up here and talk all Billy badass shit as a trader, but when it comes to children, I, I, I can't, I can't fathom anything like that happening. And it pisses me off that you say these things like I had something to do with it. I have nothing to do with it. I told you, if you have any fucking proof, prove it. Prove it. Because there is none, dude. I had nothing to do with that. I thought it was all faked in the beginning until that person started saying those things. And I had to get my wife. I said, look at this. This is what's going on. And we were genuinely concerned about you. But you mentioned all this bullshit. We lawyered up. And we can't talk. Nothing was being said to you. Nothing was being said to you at all. I sat back quietly and waited and waited and waited and waited. You sent me a cease and desist letter in the mail, certified, and some hillbilly knock on my door looking like he's dressed up like Amazon, part-time worker. You should have seen this guy. He's a clown. Seven o'clock in the morning on a Saturday. I opened the door. Why? Because I was expecting to be recorded. I don't let, let the whole world. I don't give a fuck. Look at me. Talking about how I hacked your phone, hacked your computers, did all this bullshit. And later on, you did a real low, under the radar comment in one of your videos where you said, no, somebody else did it. They framed ICT. <sighs> Dude, I am a fucking straight arrow. I do everything legal, except for speeding sometimes with cars, <laughs> admittedly. And sometimes I don't wear my seatbelt. Most of the time, I don't wear my seatbelt. I wear my seatbelt when I see a police officer, but most of the time, I don't wear my seatbelt. But dude, you're, you're going on with this like it's going to amount to something. It's not. You said you're going to do a lawsuit. Bring it because I can do all these things and prove everything I've ever said. None of my students make money, you said. Now I put it out there for free and showed the few people in my mentorship that felt like they were scammed because they can't do it themselves. Now there's people out there in the world doing it for free. They've learned how to do it for free. I did exactly what I taught my, my students to do the very things in that mentorship they learned how to do that, and they didn't want to put it to work, period. Do I know if any of your students make money? Personally, I don't, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen anybody. There's that guy, what's his name, Curtis somebody, Curtis B or Curtis something. I know it's something, Curtis. He's supposed to be your right-hand man. Why doesn't he be a representative? Because, look, I know you can trade. And you know I can trade. The whole fucking world knows I can trade. I don't need to show anymore. I know that everybody knows that I had to do this. But you should have a prize student, right? You should have someone out there that can represent you and not talk shit. No, you don't need to do that, man. We're past all that stuff. And I've said this before back in the early days when you were reaching out to me. I said, you know, I'll bring my audience to you and, and show them what you got. I was the only one, dude. The only motherfucker that was going to give you time of day then. Nobody else he was even fucking with you. And you can't say anything otherwise. Because that's the truth. And I still, even with the shit that you have about me on the internet that ain't even fucking close to true, I'm still willing to talk to you and still show up in a live stream and still do. And then what do I fucking get? Hey, Vinny talked shit about you again on the video. And I'm like, what? We just got done talking last week. And I told you I had to take care of something. I told you exactly what that fucking shit was. And you still had to pull this Mickey Mouse shit, man. I don't know if you're wrestling with something else. I mean, my gut tells me you got something that you're really dealing with. And it's not me. I'm just the outlet for it. But you're not winning this, dude. 
Like, you're not going to win this. So just lay it down. There, there's nothing, nothing's going to come. Look, look, let me tell you something. All this kind of stuff does is make me want to stay out here doing more. It does. It just makes me want to do more by contrast. You said you had a $100,000 pickup truck. I went out and bought a $100,000 pickup truck. You said I flip cars. I don't flip cars. I flip ownership of them. When I'm sick of them, I'll take them back. And when I found GPS units on my shit, I traded them in and got something new. You said you'd live in a million-dollar house. I went out and bought a house. Whatever you say you're going to do, I'm going to publicly do it above and beyond. Just to let you know, politely, you can't keep up. Have you paid attention to that? Because that's exactly what I've been doing. I've been doing that shit all year. Talking options lady said I would never go into a TD Ameritrade account. Well, I did that. Double the account. And your math is wrong, bro. If you put 25000 in and you make 100% return on $25,000, that's $50,000. Okay? I was over $50,000. Less than five weeks of, of trading. And yes, there wasn't a lot of trading, but I was also doing things, showing students, saying, look, this is the situation you're talking about. I'm going to show you that in a real account. Privy to all that. They know who that is. They know who they are. They're in my mentorship. But I showed them things that they would have to contend with, and it's still double the account. Now, do I think that doubling an account you know, in a month's time is something that a, a new student can do or should be expected to do? No, fuck no. Absolutely. I tell everybody, try to aim for 6%. For the entire month. And that's going to be a lofty goal for someone brand new. I don't get there and tell people trade with fucking a discount broker and try to push to your edge and you know, do nut shit. I don't do that. And I did not use a rented MT4 server when I was trolling Sean Lee on Twitter. When I did the 5000 to several million dollars, I ran that demo account, which I made public. I made that public. I did that doing what you all see me doing in TradingView. But I was pushing it sometimes to 5% of trade. I don't know why the fuck you guys keep thinking that it's anything but what I've already said. I've already said this. It's public. Where's the folks that says that it's all fake and it's rent to MT4 server when I'm pointing to the levels beforehand, sometimes the day before, and then you actually see me going in with the things I actually taught in the YouTube channel executing precisely and it goes to targets and i'm executing what do you do with that you ignore it because that's apparently what's going on you all want to hate me because you don't like the fact that i'm able to show receipts now and you don't like it because i keep saying robins the only interesting competition i've ever have where i don't have to have this bullshit because people when i show proof it's never enough Dude, I'm 50 years old. My energy level for this kind of shit is, is dwindling. And I put myself out here and I share what I have because none of you understand what's about to happen. Shit's about to go upside down in the United States and everywhere else. That's the reality of it all. And you're in here fucking talking about stupid shit. You claim to be a Trump supporter or a Republican or conservative, can you not see what's about to happen? And you're consuming your day and year with making up Mickey Mouse shit about me? You got nothing from it, man. That's it. You got nothing from it. And when people see your stuff and you have, like, I don't do meta tags or anything like that in my channel. Like, I don't do any of that kind of stuff. I don't push anything. But you revved up that algorithm with my name and people come there looking for burning rubber in a train wreck. And the only thing they see me doing is burning rubber in tires where I'm smoking everybody by contrast. So you've helped me grow my channel, Vincent, and I appreciate that. But you're doing it in a way where it's not helpful to you. Like at some point, you're going to cross this threshold where it's no longer possible for you to salvage this brand that you've created for yourself. And I've said this in private, and I'll say it publicly. I think you're a good speaker. I think you're a good orator when you're, you're on topic and you don't deviate. And I think when you don't go all hillbilly 
and start cussing and ranting and raving. And I'm capable of doing it. Everybody knows that. But when you stay on task, I think you're a good speaker. I don't understand what it is that you actually do in your product. Like, I don't, I don't know what you're doing. And I sincerely said that I would be willing to take myself into a setting and you go over like, because you said, I didn't, I didn't say this out there without knowing anything about it, but you claimed that you took one of my concepts and put it into automation in your product. I sincerely said, I would love to see that in action. I didn't want to see the actual code. I'm not trying to look at the code and say, okay, now I'm going to go out and put that, uh, fuck all that. But you said you've automated it. There's a lot of guys out there saying they've automated a lot of my things, or at least trying to, and they've not been successful yet, at least not that I'm aware of. But I have dozens of them actively trying to take what I've taught in mentorship and trying to formulate a, a way of doing it. And there's people out there that have the, uh, the fair value gap is an indicator on TradingView now. There's guys out there. You ever seen the um, guy, what's it, uh, stacking pips or something, some some guy? Yeah, I'm the real guy. I'm the real deal because my indicator is $7. It's the it's order block. It shows you how the banks trade. This fucking guy doesn't even know what an order block is. If you said you've coded it, I'm taking you on face value that you said you coded it. I would like to see you show that. I would like to be an audience that you and I sit down and talk. You tell me what you did with it. I'd like to see it. What didn't you fucking understand, man? Like, if I say I'm going somewhere, people are going to come there and see, what the hell is he looking at? And because you created this circus-like atmosphere, this carnival, you don't think people are going to show up if I say, I'm coming to your fucking house, do a live stream, I'm going to be in there talking to you. You don't think that's going to be the highest fucking viewed thing on your channel because that's the only thing that shows views. You put my name in your videos or put my logo in your thumbnail, that's where your, your views are coming from that. You can change all that, man, and just squash this shit. Like, I'm elevating constantly. And I haven't had to give you any kind of drama or any kind of lies, bullshit, nothing. I've been steady Eddie. I don't get it, man. You've had the apology now. Public, you, hear, you hear it. Everybody, I wish I would have stood up for you when you needed me to do it. But and honestly, I thought that you were able to thought you were just going a little too ballistic. And some of you on Twitter send, seem to think that it's appropriate to talk in terms of people's families and you reach outside the person. And I have backpedaled a lot because of what you and Adam went through. Because you both did shit to each other. You can say you were this and innocent. Nah, nah. He did the family stuff. I know that. And that's wrong. Nobody should have that fucking shit done to them. Nobody should have their fucking family attacked. But dude, listen to me. Listen to the person talking to you right now. There ain't never been anybody on Twitter that's had more bullshit, lies, and fake fucking shit and family stuff done to them like you have done to mine. You owe me a fucking apology. You owe me a fucking apology for the lies and the shit that you said about me and my fucking family. You said we're running fraud. Ain't true. You said terrible things about my fucking children. You said terrible things about my fucking wife. You said things about me that ain't even fucking true, dude. And people are going to remember that stuff. And I'm willing to even now still do the opportunity to fucking kill it, man. Just stop it because it's not working. Like, seriously, it's not working. None of that stuff's making your channel grow and it's not diminishing me. This guy, Sam, what's his face over there in the UK? I guess it's a, I guess he's from the UK. To acting Billy Badass. I challenged ICT three times and he fucking bailed. He's scared. No, I said put $50,000 in a Robin's account, account and log in, show the login with the same account number you plan to win with. That means you're really in there. Show the emails from Robin showing that you are verified and registered, which is what I did years ago. And every pussy motherfucker never showed up after that. So, yes, I registered multiple years, but never funded. Hello. How about that? Again, a little bit of truth, a whole lot of bullshit. Nobody ever fucking shows up. You all want to talk about FTMO. What the fuck? Fuck FTMO. That's not a fucking a way of saying somebody knows how to fucking trade. If that's a way for you to start making money, 
and that's how you have to go that route, then go it. Go that route while you can. They may not be around forever. But if someone's going to say, let's see who the better trader is. Let me define what that means, okay? So that way we all understand exactly what inner circle trader means when he says the better trader. You go into what the industry standard is. What does everybody else in the industry have to use for margin? Period. You go into a CFTC regulated broker. Period. You cannot be faking anything when you show the single account number beforehand. Everybody sees it. So all the bullshit that everybody wants to claim, oh, yeah, ICT is running because it, um, uh, Vinny's going to prove there's five accounts. What the fuck are you going on about, dude? I said one account number. How the fuck can anybody fake that? How the fuck can it? I've already shown you a TD Ameritrade account. Full account number. Logged in every single day. I'm ready. I'm fucking ready, man. Like, I am ready. Uh, what's this guy? Raja Banks. I don't know anything about this guy. Talking about, oh, well, you know, we're going to do this. We're going to go into my private broker. Dude, <laughs> they take MT4 in Robbins. Go over there and make a name for yourself. Sam, same thing. Why can't we all, seriously, fuck the bullshit, okay? Fuck the bullshit. Fuck all the Mickey Mouse bullshit drama. Why can't we all simply just go into that motherfucker and just have fun? Let's just see who can do what. That's all. Whoever wins it, wins it. Whoever doesn't go into it, never has a fucking point to ever, ever speak about it because you're a bitch. Why is that so hard to understand? Like, I'm not trying to be a dick to everybody. I'm not trying to piss on everybody's, you know, identity. And SG, listen to me. I heard somebody talking, saying, oh, yeah, you know, ICT put up a Deadpool fucking... Uh, wallpaper, and that was a subliminal message to SG. Let me <laughs> let me tell you something. That had absolutely nothing to do with you. I gave you flowers on your YouTube channel when you started doing your thing, okay? And you said, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Dude, done. But I have a lot of people doing that. I, I blocked you because you started talking toxic, and people were responding to you with my name in the tweets. So I don't want to see that shit. I don't even know how you trade anymore. If you went and did something different, God bless you. Do it. I don't give two fucks about people that's traded with me and my, my logic and said, you know what? I don't like this. I'm going to something else. I'd be interested in what you've done differently because just morbid curiosity. But I don't care if people change their way of doing it. I mean, listen, Vinny. I've said this publicly, okay? I have a lot of fucking students. Tons of fucking students. I cannot be the perfect mentor to everyone. Some individuals came to me and they want something that is a flash in the pan where it goes, okay, now this is when you do something. It automates it. So, okay, here's the billboard sign flashing on the chart saying, now's the time to do this very thing. Some of my students really are looking for that because they can't see it. They can't identify it for you know, what it is. They can't, they don't have the discipline to follow it. They don't trust the logic and stay within it. And if you've automated something, you have removed all of that subjectivity and you made it objective. It's either win or lose. It's right or wrong. That's the, that's just what it's highlighting. And then there it is. And if you have created that and you found a way to automate that, I'm genuinely interested in that because if you've done it and you've demonstrated it, then I'd say, you know what, that's, a valid thing. It's actually occurring. He's done it. For anybody that has ever wanted to do the automated side of things and they just don't have the capability of doing it on their own manually, I don't, I've already told you, I don't want to kick back. I don't want you paying me nothing. I don't give a fuck, dude. But if you're looking for props and you're looking for a fucking lift, I've already told you I'd do that. Why don't you fucking see that? I'm not afraid. You can keep doing what the fuck you're doing and bother me. I'm just not going to give you any more time after today. I told you, this is it. You're either all in or you're all out. And I don't give a fuck what you decide personally. But you got to stop, man. Like, you have to fucking stop. It's not healthy. I can sleep at night. I ain't worried about it. But, dude, at some point, your fucking children are going to grow up and see the shit that you have on the internet. And you're going to have to answer for that. You can live and try to be the, the father of the year and try to do this and do that. And then when they see you behaving like that, 
that's a different side. And I know right now because you're seething and you think you have some kind of vendetta, which is all contrived. It's all made up based on you wanting me to do something. I can't time travel. I know my trades are fucking amazing, but I'm not literally able to time travel. So I can't go back on to Twitter years ago and yoke Adam Webb up publicly and say, go fuck yourself. You're a piece of fucking shit and side with you. Okay. That's what you asked me to do. I didn't see you literally come out and do that. I saw a man that was ready to have war with somebody else. And I watched that man go dirty and talk about your wife. Now, I didn't know anything about your children. I didn't threaten your children. I didn't talk about your children. I didn't even know you're partly Mexican until you just mentioned it the other day. Like all of these things that you're trying to put out there, they're not, a, none of these things are true about me. I didn't say these things. I don't think that way. I don't carry myself that way. If there's ever been, listen to me, okay? All of you at, sit out there in little circles in your Twitter spaces and you think you understand me, okay? You don't know a fucking thing about me. If I had any reason to be an unstable, threatening, piece of shit, mafia bo boss type fucking lunatic nut job that you tried to paint me into the picture of, why am I still able to talk to you like this and still give you the opportunity to smooth it over? Like you're literally slandering my name and my family. If you, have you ever you've really given it any thought to why I'm being patient with you? It's not fear at all. You tried to paint like I'm afraid of you. I, dude, I've said your name multiple times. I've pointed to your channel. I've said it. Vinny E. Mini on YouTube. Vincent Marchi in Texas. He's got a brand new pool with Algo Box logo on it. You ever thought about if you sell that property? <laughs> what are you going to do with that, by the way? I mean, I'm sure it's cool and all because it's your logo. I mean, I probably would do that if I was 20 years old. You know, put my ICT logo in there if I can get somebody to replicate it in the liner of my pool. And it turned out nice, by the way. It looks nice. But, dude, listen. All of you, not just you, Vinny, all of you. You're doing the wrong shit, man. You're counting pockets. You're trying to keep up with the Joneses. You're trying to be something on the wrong type of energy. That's that's the truth, man. I know I'm a divisive figure. I know I am. That's how I built the brand. I've done that very thing. If you had a lot of followers, I went right in front of you and stood in front of you and said, this is what I can do, and you show me otherwise. And what are you going to do? I'm already told you I'm doing it with a demo account. I said, what are you going to say? They're disarmed. But when I'm able to prove something they can't do, well, guess what? They look stupid and I get their following. That's what I did before. That's what I did. I don't need it anymore. I don't need, listen to me, I don't need to go in the Robins Cup to win that. But I'm ready and I'm wanting to. And Sam, you need to stop talking shit because I didn't run from you. You didn't do fifty thousand dollar deposit. How do why why fifty thousand dollars? Because number one, I don't think you have fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Two, I know you're not going to join that thing because your FX book thing, dude, you're in drawdown. Like you're losing your little spurt of money. I could do twenty five percent every single day, day in and day out. Test me and see. Test me and see. I could see here and be the prick and arrogant motherfucker that I am capable of be very easily right now. But it needs to stop. If you all think you're going to get clout because you mentioned my name and, oh, he ran away. I didn't run away from Adam Webb. Adam Webb had no fucking intentions of trading. And the proof is he bitched out with you, Vinny. I told Tom in private, I said, Adam Webb can't trade. Period. I have never said I had a net worth of $750 million. That's some bullshit. Um, what else was there I had to touch on here? The two guys. <laughs> the two guys that tapped me on the shoulder. Let me tell you something. I don't give a flying fuck what any of you believe. I don't give a fuck. The question you need to ask is, how did... I get all this. And I'm going to let you drown in it. Because no matter what I tell you, 
going to believe me. The, the, those that don't want to believe anything, it doesn't matter. I can go out there and win that Robins Cup and smack the shit out of Larry Williams' record, and it'll still feel like, oh, well, he did something different. Somebody else traded for him. But if we're all going to talk shit about each other, and you talk shit about anybody ever, especially this year, you should go into that Robins Cup like everybody else. I'll be there if you want to go into it. I don't know why this is such a hard thing to do. It's like fucking pulling teeth. No navel cane. Just have fun with it. And in the winter can talk their shit, get their flowers, and then there it is. It's done. I'm not trying to work up another mentorship. I'm not trying to sell nothing. I just want to fucking hang out with everybody and just get people that are not aware of what's coming prepared and have a clean conscience about it all. Shit's toxic right now. No social media is going to get even worse when people start losing the ability to be able to feed themselves. People are going to get loose and start doing shit that's nuts. And I don't want to have to defend myself with friends dressed in brass because some of you out here on a different team get a case of the ass and say, you know what? I'm going to visit ICT. If you visit me, just know, run up and get done up. And Vinny, you have invited that type of stuff with the way you talk to people. And I've said this before. You can't do those types of things and not expect people showing up. Eventually, somebody's going to act up and do something dumb. And none of my followers, and I'm saying that with quotes, I call you my students. But some of you are fucking fanatical. Like, you need to tone it the fuck down. Like, some of you literally want to go out there and go to war with people. Just because they said something bad about me. I, if I'm not losing sleep with what Vinny's fucking doing, why the fuck would you lose any sleep over someone saying that I'm a fake demo fraud? <laughs> think about it. This fucking guy in Texas has put everything he could think of on the internet about me. Like, everything. He's Whatever the fuck it is, you could call somebody negative. He's done that with me. And here I am, every single day, Pointing to where the market's going, and then I'm executing and showing you. Anybody else doing that for fucking free? No. I don't have another mentorship, you know, starting up. And you know what? You know, I, I was going to write books. I have them. I have them right now. They're, they're, they're ready to go. But you know what happens if I do that? These same little bitches that sit around and talk shit about me. Oh, see, this is where he's getting his next bit of money. No, I don't need to do that. I'm going to release him for fucking free. So go fuck yourself. Enjoy working the rest of your fucking life. I don't need to do anything. I choose to do these things because I want to do these things. I am a teacher at heart. And yes, there ain't a fucking traitor alive that can beat me, period. Come, come. There's another Vinny over there on, what the hell is it? He said a little podcast. He, he tried to put some comments in my videos. And you know who the fuck you are, Mr. Two Pips. All you got to do is step. Talking all that bullshit. Oh, he's making up some dumb shit. Come on, motherfucker. I will light you on fire. And I'll give you a name that everybody will remember you by. I don't know why you guys keep ducking it. One account. Full account number. Third party audited. A whole year. That's how you know someone can fucking trade better. Trading better is working with the industry standard margins. A full fucking year, not, I'll do a competition with you. Let's run it up for a week. Get the fuck out of here. You'll, you'll definitely think it was fucking luck for me for one week. So remove all that. A whole fucking calendar year. I can close a year. I can close that motherfucker. I will bring the fucking curtain down. But y'all listen to these guys with these fake fucking MT4 servers. They're the same, their own brokers. What prevents them from going out there and doing that? There's no excuse for, oh, well, I'm going to do it with multiple accounts and prove it's a fraud. It's not a fucking fraud if you announce what your full account number is and you make it public before any trades are made. Done. I traded at TD Ameritrade with my account number exposed. Nothing happened. Nothing fucking happened. There's an excuse for every fucking person out there that's going to hide from this. I'm not hiding from it. I'm out here begging it.
the what is it? I showed a uh, a screenshot years ago on Twitter. I was troll I was trolling Sean Lee from Astro FX because he would always show like the my FX results, you know, which shows you had this many trades and your profit is this and your margin you know, being used or whatever the hell it is. And I was like, you have any idea how easy that is to fake? So I put up one of those bullshit posts where it seems like, hey, you know, I'm I'm trying to motivate you. And I literally left the fucking negative symbol off as a fucking joke. Like it, I was literally joking him. This same guy that put a voice message, he didn't type it out. He put a little voice message. And he was like, yeah, bitch, come to the UK and I'll cut your fucking throat. Well, motherfucker, you travel all over the world. Come down here. I'll put a knife in your hand. You'll fucking give me a shave, bitch. I showed up on Twitter, disappeared, ghost town. He knew what was coming. But we ain't got to be toxic about it. Why can't we all just have fucking fun? Why can't we have fucking fun? You can bitch talk and, you know, talk shit about each other, but don't bring family into it, man. Why the fuck would you even reach for something like that? It makes no fucking sense. My wife has been a fucking mess since last November about all this bullshit. She fucking is a wreck. My daughter, we moved her out of state because she is literally on medication for anxiety over this fucking shit, Vincent. You keep putting up shit, saying I've done something to your family. The only thing that's happened consistently and it's ever happened is you've done the very things that you have said I've done. And you're proving it every fucking day, every week, every month. And it's up there. And it's not even true. None of that shit's true. And some of you out there, oh, why are you entertain these haters? And then why are you doing this? And why are you doing that? Because I'm married to a woman that's tore up about all this stuff. That's why. To me, I don't give a fuck. Dude, they've always made fun of me. <laughs> doesn't bother me. You think I give a fuck what these fucking clowns think about me? Dude, I am loaded. I was loaded before you met me. Period. None of this shit bothers me. That's why I stepped back. When I saw that you two on Twitter years ago were willing to go to each other's throats with family member stuff. You know, you're you're out there, you know, trying to tear him apart and he's throwing the family shit in there. I didn't want to be involved in that stuff because I have children. I had a wife who was always telling me I was spending too much time on Twitter. You know, when I wasn't on Twitter, I missed it. Back on Twitter, I live on it. I treat it like texting a whole bunch of friends. You know, I'd light your fucking phone up all the time. She doesn't like that. But she understands that this is my outlet. If I get something in my head, I just put it out there. But I'm not going after people's fucking family. I'm not talking shit about somebody else's fucking family. And to, to say it when everything else proves otherwise, it's, it becomes foolish at some point. But seriously, I mean, why can't everybody out there that thinks they have a name for themselves as a trader? If you can make money, here's the brass tax of it all. If you can make money, that's awesome. If you do something that makes money that's not what I teach, well done. I'm not the only one and the only way of making money. There's a lot of people out there to make money. There are retail traders that trade retail logic and make money. I am of the persuasion that there's a better approach to learning how to read the marketplace. If you institute what I teach, you can make retail trading work for you because you're reversing the logic that retail traders are poisoned with. Linda Rash. I guarantee she's not doing anything I'm teaching, but I know she's made money. So you also see me book. Everything in that book is retail. Street smarts. That's all retail logic. Nothing in there is super insider type stuff. They're little basic little patterns that repeat. But you have to understand things that make those patterns viable. I teach narrative market conditions where market structure technically will give you the edge that you're looking for. And you don't need to have the indicators. The indicators, hey, if you need an indicator to tell you when to do something, 
okay, whatever. But you have to have the basis behind those candles correct, or that shit ain't going to do nothing for you. Too many people out here talking with my name in their mouth for all the wrong reasons. Clout, go earn it the right way. Talking shit, and they've always talked shit about me. And I just keep floating higher and higher and higher. More shit, guess what? I rise above all that. I'm not sinking. I'm not fucking going away. If you noticed, I stay off of topics that would keep me on Twitter. Well, let me say that right. I stay off of topics that will allow me to stay on Twitter because if I talked about the things that I would say like on the SoundCloud or what I had in my private mentorship in the discussions, the political things, they would remove my account. And some of you would love to see that happen and say, oh, he ran away. It got too hot on Twitter again. He ran away because that shit ain't true either. Nobody ran me to fuck off of Twitter, Tommy. I left it when they started censoring my fucking tweets. Because I told everybody back then that Trump was going to win and they were going to use him as a fall guy. And look around. And please shut the fuck up because I didn't vote for him. I've never voted in my life. Ever. Because my vote won't count. Because it's all rigged. Reagan was your last president. Last duly elected president. And if that fucking bothers you, unfollow and I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I'm not here for fucking friends. I'm here for all the smoke. I'm here for anybody that ever wanted to talk that shit. I'm here. And when this year closes, I'm going to tell you, nobody fucking stepped. Nobody did shit like I fucking told you last year. Nobody did it. Not one fucking person. Not no fucking Sam. Not no fucking Vinny. Not no other Vinny on the fucking podcast shit. I don't even know where the hell it's at. I, I saw it. some guy sent it to me. This guy's talking shit about you. Yeah. <laughs> Bring your two pips. Yeah, I did 92 trades with two pips each. Yeah, I'll do fucking one and lap you. How's that work for you? You didn't see the best of mine. I've never shown you that. You will not see that. I hold back a ton of shit. And there are students in my mentorship that, that infuriates. You promised to teach everything. The fuck I did. I did not say that. I told you everything that I'm willing to teach and it will be profitable. And I've given away one fucking model using the logic that I taught in mentorship. And it's all that people making money with it. It's undeniable. You wanted evidence, I gave it to you on a silver platter. It's not transferable knowledge. He's, he's the only can do it. They're doing it. It only works in demo. They're pulling out real money. It's something renamed. It's Wyckoff. It's not. It's supply and demand. It's not. I have students from Chris Laurie. I have students from Sam Seiden. I have students from fucking years of trading with Wyckoff. And they will tell you in honesty, this is absolutely completely different. I'm sorry if it doesn't, but swallow. It's the way it is. If none of you all would have rose up and tried to talk that shit, you never would have heard this side of me. But I'm just answering the bullshit. I'm answering the bullshit. Chris Laurie backed out of seminars with me. We were going to do a, a circuit of seminars. And a bunch of you little bitches out there ran to him and sent emails. Said, oh, yeah, ICT's a fraud. And if you're going to do this, I'm not going to come to your thing. You probably never were fucking coming anyway. But because he's image-oriented, he sent me an email and said, yeah, uh, we're, we're going to take a rain check on that, blah, blah, blah. Okay, fine. Who's where? That's all I'm saying. Look at who is where. Do I think that he's still someone you can learn from? Yes. He's the only one I nod and say, take a look at his stuff. But it's basic. It's like better than what you would get in any retail stuff. But it's basic. And that's not being disrespectful. That's being an honest opinion. I've maintained that all the time, the whole time. I brought him more business 
than he's ever had in his life simply because I say those words. He's never paid me anything. I've never been in business with him. And Vinny, I never worked on baby pips. I was not part of their fucking staff. The bullshit you just said the other day and put on your video saying, oh, I was part of the uh, baby pip staff and I was caught sock puppeting when that wasn't true. I literally took an email that they sent me and said, yeah, we found your ISP address attached to another account. I had one account. And none of you all would have never known this. I took that public. I said, this is bullshit. I did not do these types of things. And none of you would have known about it. So why the hell would I have brought that to Baby Pip's forum and said, this is what it is. And they admitted, while it's unlikely, it could have happened where someone could have spoofed my ISP. All I'm saying is, is my shit. I got one account. Do you think I sat there and fucking clicked the button over a million times to make the highest viewed threads on that fucking forum? You saw, I was always on the fucking, I was in the chat room. I was on the fucking forum. I was making these. You think I'm sitting there clicking a million fucking times to make those threads that popular? You're fucking nuts. Like, dude, at some point, sense has to kick in. And I understand this fucking application for social media is the biggest fucking cesspool there is. Bunch of smooth brains in this motherfucker. So easily entertained. But so many just unable to do the shit they they claim they can do. If ICT could trade, he wouldn't charge money. Guess what? I stopped millions of dollars. I, I stopped that. Now, if, and I want you to hear this carefully, if I wanted to, I could put my fucking PayPal link as the response to this post right on Twitter today and say, I'm taking in another intake of students right now. And this time, it's 250 bucks a month, and I'm trading live. You can't talk to me, but I'm trading live and telling you why I'm getting in. How many motherfuckers are signing up to that? All of you. Because you'll find that fucking 250 somewhere. You're selling something because you're getting in there. Why? Because you know now I am fucking precise. I know where it's going. I know when it's going to get there. I know multiple entry points. And I use real hard stops. <laughs> I'm not trying to take any money from you. I don't have anything to sell to you. I'm not upselling anything. And I just told you today, I'm not going to sell my books. I'm going to provide them for free. They're going to be published. But it's going to be in electronic format where... I can make them available for download, and it is what it is. I don't need your fucking money, okay? That's how you know the rich people that don't need fucking money. I don't need to sell you nothing. I don't need a fucking course. I don't need to do signals. I don't need to, nothing. I don't need shit from any of you. And many of you like to smack a gift horse in the mouth because you can't keep up to something like that. And that's why I came here to, to do this very shit this year. I said, just sit back and wait. I'm coming with receipts next year. I could make millions of dollars selling, teaching. And I stopped because I wanted to, to prove that I don't need to. Everybody else, they're all looking to sell something. Why? Why can't they just say, you know what? Fuck all this bullshit too. ICT's got the right method. I'm going to just prove without having to do all this bullshit. I make enough money trading. I don't need to do that shit. Who else is doing that? You think Chris Laurie's going to stop teaching? Fuck no, he's not going to stop teaching. No, he's not. Okay. Larry Williams. Highest record on Robbins. Sold and continuously makes things available to be purchased. That millions of dollars a month. Easy. All I got to do is make the PayPal link available and say, this is the terms. There it is. Boom. And I'm not doing it. You'll never be able to see IC, ICT trade a live account. Oh, I've done that this year. So you all want me to sit here and under the guise of saying it's proof, it's proof. Call the market, entry, stop. You all know I can trade well. You just want me to give you signals. That's all this is. I'm not stupid. I know what that is. I'm not going to get guilted into doing that. What I've done this so far this year has proven enough. My bias wrong? No. 
it goes to the levels. And in between that call of where it's going to go with the right bias, I go in and I use what I taught you on the and that's the model, and boom, there it is. Every day, every week, you're seeing it in the same account. I'm showing you all the executions are all still there. <laughs> it's never going to be enough, and I don't give two fucks. It's funny. It's entertaining. So if you are young in the industry and you're starting to come up, just know this. There is always going to be a collection of individuals out there that are salty as fuck that you're doing well. Now, you can entertain that kind of stuff and challenge everybody and say this and say that about everyone else. But just know you better have the skill set to do that. Because there's a lot of folks out there that carry my logo around like a banner and they rep me like I'm genuinely their fucking dad. And you ask for more drama with the shit that you do and say to other people using me as the reasons for it. You don't need to defend me. I'm a grown ass man. There ain't a person out there that I won't trade with. Period. You don't need to defend me. Stop going around poking and prodding these people because all you're doing is giving them talking points. Otherwise, they have no voice. What are you going to talk about? They're not their fucking trades because they ain't got any. They're not making money because if they did, if they were fucking making money, that would be the conversation. That's the topic. But if I keep rising to the top of the fucking conversation, that means I'm the topic. I'm the top of the conversation. That tells you a whole lot. If I'm the reason why you all are talking, somebody needs to take some inventory. What the fuck's going on here? What's missing here? Profitable trading. Because that should be the topic. I would love to listen to people showing what they've done and how they transitioned from struggling new to now profitable trading. And I don't give a fuck if it's using my stuff or not. I find it fascinating. Every person in that book or books, Market Wizards, they don't trade like I do. But I find that book fascinating. To hear their experience. I love seeing that. I like watching that young lady in, uh, on the internet, Hannah, because I'm watching her development. I have a genuine interest in that. I just don't like when guys sit around and talk shit, and that's all it is, is shit, make up stuff. Oh, yeah, ICT, Alphabet Boy. <laughs> that's a new one, by the way. That was, it was creative. But, dude, if you're talking about me, I'd love to hear what you're doing. Like, I'd love to hear that. Sitting around for a couple hours talking about me is, is fruitless. You're not going to say anything that Vinny ain't already said. <laughs> and it don't, it don't bother me. But earlier, I mentioned that I had a pretty stressful week. My wife's mother, she's been battling cancer. She's had... Uh, Several bouts of lung cancer in Oker. Not now anymore, but she was. So it was, it was self-inflicted. She's since stopped smoking. But she has had cancer appear on her appendix. And she had to have that taken out. So, you know, obviously my wife is her daughter. And she's been emotional this week. And, you know, driving to and fro, picking up and going to the doctors and things. It's it's a little stressful. And on top of it, the person that I outbid on the house put a less pardons on list pardons on the uh, property. That means they're claiming that they have a equitable claim to the title of the property when they don't. They don't have a signed offer. I have a signed offer. There's only been two signed offers on that property. One was in July and the other one was just this Sunday. So we are in a legal battle now with that. I've been under a lot of shit, Vinny. Okay. It wasn't that I'm pushing you aside. I've already told you I would if you just gave me till Sunday to work this out. But seeing that you went and posted some horse shit on your YouTube channel, you want this to keep going. Okay. Keep going. Here's what you need to know. None of this shit has worked. And you keep talking about you're warming up. Motherfucker, let's go to the last inning. Let's just go right to it right now. Seriously, why the fuck are you want to prolong it? Let's go. Let's go. Whatever the fuck you want to do, let's go. I got receipts. I'm ready. 
I'm paying cash for that $2 million house. I don't have a mortgage. I don't have a tax lien on my property. I didn't do a chargeback on a fucking private investigator that said, no, we're not going to deal with you anymore because you're asking us to go on a property and take video and picture through a person's. And then when they dropped you, you charged back on them. Sitting out here waiting for me to do something illegal. And they told you, guys, straight. He's not doing anything. You lied and said my wife was going to Verizon to buy burner phones. She was going up there to replace her phone that no longer was allowed to receive messages. No burner phones. No Nigerian fraud ring. <sighs> At some point, you got to call bullshit. And we're long past that, dude. You're mad at me because I didn't do something to defend you when you were on Twitter. I'm sorry, bro. Sincerely, I mean, obviously it bent you out of shape. Look at what you were doing. I apologize that I did not come to your defense. I could have said something, but you know what's going to happen? People with a mind, with an intellect, are going to be like a grown-ass man saying something to defend another grown-ass man when he's already defending himself, which I felt was being adequate at the time. We're meeting him on with, let's go. You didn't back down from him. And then he pussyfooted around and created some fake fucking results. Okay. Everybody knew that you were going to stomp his ass. But because I didn't come out there and say something to another man, dude, look at the fucking students of mine. They're warring with everybody all the time because they say something bad about me or they say that, you know, it doesn't work in real accounts and then they get their ass all bent out of shape. It's too toxic, man. That stuff's too toxic. And we're getting ready to go into a climate where somebody is going to do something stupid. And that person that called into your shit, that was a wake-up call to me. That's why I do not go hard anymore. I used to do some fucking straight-up fucking brutal shit. Right on Twitter calling everybody out. Now I just toy with everybody because they're never going to do it. But I'm ready. They've seen I'm ready. But I would hate to have something fucking happen either to me, to you, anybody else out there. Dude, it's all over the news. People fucking see these fucking weirdos follow people in public to their house and do something to them or their family members, shoot people the fuck up because they said something dumb that wouldn't even amount to shit. This, this world's changing, bro. And the only thing you're doing is you're inciting the wrong kind of toxicity. And somebody's going to want to try to outdo what you're doing. And they're going to fucking do something. And it's going to put them in prison or put somebody in the ground. And that is something I would not want to see. And you know that. If you think about it soberly, think about it. Inviting that type of environment, that's not responsible at all. It's, look. We're in this fucking business to make money and trade. Can we fuck with each other and razz each other and you know give a good ribbing and fucking troll? It, 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 I can take that kind of shit. I'm not thin skinned. I was fucking born in this kind of shit. But as soon as you start bringing in people's fucking family, dude, let me tell you something. I sat back here to prove that if anybody ever fucking did anything to you, I never acted on anything. I never, I never did anything. I could have. I don't fly, but let me tell you something. It won't take me long to come down to Texas and be on your front doorstep. If that shit happened to my fucking family and I knew who that person was, I would have been sitting in fucking Texas. I would have been on their fucking doorstep. And then, yeah, I would have been arrested. Family's family. And you're bringing in shit and you're all kinds of attention to yourself. And you're saying things that are really inciting hate. And it has nothing to do with me. You say, oh, it's ICT followers, ICT trolls. Dude, you're saying things about other people's race. And that's just the facts. And you're doing it where they know where you live. That should scare the fuck out of you. I would never do those fucking things. Never in a million years would I do one-tenth of what the fuck you've done. You just got to stop. because. Somebody 
you're gonna piss off you're gonna piss off somebody. You're gonna piss off somebody saying something, and they are gonna do something they're gonna regret for the rest of their fucking life, and someone's gonna get really hurt. And that's not responsible. That's not smart. You say you're a, a IQ of 160, dude. You're not exhibiting it. You're doing things on an emotional level, trying to get something that's never going to come. I told you in the email. I said, you want to smooth this shit out? You want to be fucking cool? Be friends? Whatever. That's fine. I understand. If you genuinely thought in the beginning that this guy that was saying all that shit was being sent by me, like you said, I can see how, oh, yeah, you know, if... If this guy fucking sent this person, I'm going to fucking, I'm going to go off and I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I get it, man. But you know damn well that that's not how it was. None of that shit's true. But I can be honest and tell you that if I was threatened like you have been threatened. I would be thinking stupid shit too. And it'd be very hard for anybody to talk sense into me. I know. So I sat still. Lawyer said do this. So I did that. And you've seen nothing. You pretended like it was weakness and fear. I've not been fearful at all. I'm still here. Still growing. Still doing everything contrary to what you say. At some point, you got to get to, well, this isn't really panning out anymore. You said you wanted an apology. I've already said so, man. But I also told you, I didn't want to type it out because it would seem disingenuous. If someone's going to apologize and they're trying to appeal to your your good nature, you don't type it. You don't send it in text. You let it be heard. And honestly, I can see how if people, and I don't know this to be true, but you said somebody out there impersonated me and they hacked your, that sounds like some movie. As much as you all want to say, I come at you with some shit like that. This sounds like fucking a Tom Cruise movie. <laughs> like, seriously, I'm not that big of a fucking deal. I don't know how to hack a computer. Everything I learned about computer science is obsolete now. I learned COBOL, CICS, mainframe. They don't even have fucking mainframe anymore. The most, I guess, relatable in, uh, language, it would be C++. And that was, that was the highest I went with. 1992. So I haven't coded in years. I used a friend of mine, Logan. He did all of my code. When I used TradeStation, he did all my trading coding for me. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what else I got to check off as a bullet point list of things that has been said about me. But everything that I've ever done, I've been honest about. Everything I've ever said, how I learned this. Dude, listen to me. You claim to be a Christian. That's why I haven't gone to you. The word says, touch not mine anointed. But you keep killing me publicly, bro. You keep saying shit that ain't true. And Christ said, if you say ill about your brother, you've killed him. And you keep doing it over and over again. And it's baseless. It's not even true. None of these things you're saying are true. Somebody ribs me, somebody trolls me, whatever. I can I laugh about a lot of things people say. But this kind of stuff is toxic. It's 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 fruitless. It doesn't amount to anything. And it puts more heat on you than it would do on me. Believe me, there's people that don't like me. They love what you're doing. And they want to see you continuously keep doing what you're doing. That's just a small crowd. <laughs> that's, a, that's a group of people that aren't ever going to amount to shit. Because they'd spend their time with all this kind of stuff. They're going to work on Monday. And they're going to work until they drop dead. So if that's the, if that's the mentality of audience members that you're trying to... Well, have at it. I sincerely asked for any of the algo box traders if they're actually making real money. Because I know you do a lot of things with, what is it, uh, Ninja Trader. 
Okay, and SG, this is another one for you. I wasn't talking about you and in, in, in reference to Ninja Trader. You're putting too much credit on yourself. I'm talking specifically about Vincent Marchi, Vinny E. Mini. That's who I was addressing through Ninja Trader. It was brought to my attention that you can go into Ninja Trader and change a trade after the fact. I don't know how to use Ninja Trader. I have never used Ninja Trader. They have been contacting me because they know I have a huge following. Same guy constantly, once a month, he'll email me, hey, look, you know, you want to try us out? You know, let's, you know, let's work out something. I'm not trying to be a representative of any company. Much like I don't co-sign on any one particular funded account company. I have no affiliation whatsoever to anybody. I am the absolute truthful motherfucker there's ever going to be. I'm not going to be influenced by anybody because I don't need anybody's fucking money. I don't have any partnerships with anybody. But when I said I would like to see a AlgoBox profitable student, the reason why I said that is because the, of the few videos, and I have not sat down and watched all of your videos, because number one, that's, you put out more fucking videos than I do. And I thought I was going nuts with videos in the past. You're putting out way more videos than I do. In fact, let me tell you something. The people that I'm buying the house from, they wanted to know more about me. And they found your video, your video first about me. <laughs> we were literally over at their house last night because I had to tell them that the guy that put a, a list pardons on the title, he called me up and he literally basically told me he wants to be bought out. So in other words, he wants the seller or I to give him money to remove the, the list pardons. So that way the title has no cloud over top of it and I can take ownership of it and they can transfer ownership. It's a and the seller was like, uh, yeah, there's a guy on the internet that hates your fucking ass. And I'm like, uh, does his name begin with a V? He goes, yeah, that's him, Vinny. Oh, I was watching. This guy hates your guts. I'm like, yeah, well, <laughs> he's helped grow the channel. That's great. Like, your miracle grow for my fucking channel. So, you're, I'm, I, you know, if you want to keep doing this, you're going to constantly keep that algorithm generating more traffic to my channel. That's fine. I got like a hundred, was it three, 333,000, if not real close to it now. That's awesome. Thank you. But you, you gotta, you gotta just got, stop doing that stuff. Okay. Like you would grow if you stopped being toxic and talking about competitions that you really didn't have. You really didn't have any competitions. Okay. You said you, you beat Ross Cameron. Ross, I asked Cameron in his, uh, comments. I said, do you know a guy named Vinny E. Mini? He said he was in a competition with you. And he said, I don't even know who that is. So how can you be in a competition when the other party doesn't know you're in a competition? And you really can't say Adam Webb was a competition because that fucking clown doesn't know how to fucking trade. Like, you doing one trade smokes him because he's not trading. And the other, I guess the other two guys, which I don't even know who they are, but again, they probably don't amount to shit. I've always said, you, have, you and I both have a lot of monitors. We have a lot of mental to make while we're looking at charts and, and focus on. Okay, But if we had to simply go down to one monitor, we both could do that. We could, we could do that. Okay, It's not something outside of our capability. But I said, if you are able to have a hot button, a buy and sell button or limit order button on your Ninja Trader on one screen, instead of pushing that button on that very monitor, just push it on the Robin's Cup monitor. I mean, Tom Dante, he found his way up there, not because of much skill, but the person that was in the fifth spot fell out of the fifth spot and he flashed up there for one day. And then I right then in there screen catch it. I said, all right, Thomas, because it's always been get to the top of the leaderboard. And he fell off the next day with someone less in percentage, never to be seen again. What happened to that account? What happened to that account? And I already had the tweets copy where he said, well, I wasn't really in there trying to win it. I just wanted to see what happened. That's not calling me out. You guys are running around saying Tom Dante called me out. Bullshit. That motherfucker didn't do shit. He can go in there in 2023. And show the world everything that I'm saying is full of shit. But I don't think that's going to happen. But it'd be fun to see it. 
I'm telling y'all, I will join that motherfucker if a bunch of y'all just get it going. Like, let's make it a fucking event. That's all. Let's, let's make it fun. I won't talk any shit at all. I will just stay quiet, and I'll use the model I taught on YouTube. How's that? Is that fair? I won't use Enigma. Just use that. Come on. Let's have fun with it. I mean, y'all want to see me do it. I want to see other people fucking do it with me. Especially the talkers. The shit talkers. Yeah. Oh, he's a fucking so-and-so. I make real money. <laughs> None of you have any idea what the fuck real money is. I came out here this year sharing. Building up people that don't deserve this because let me be honest with you folks. Okay. You're getting core content for free. And while I've already said that that's not mentorship, you're getting something that you're not entitled to. But I also feel comfortable with the fact that my students know that that's not mentorship. That's just basic prerequisites to the experiences that those individuals that paid me for mentorship, they got to see every single day what you saw just this year, pointing to where the market's going to go, why it's going to go there. They got the details as to why. Where on Twitter, I'm just saying, note this level. That's the difference. My real students know that. They see the difference by contrast. And they don't give two shits that those core content videos are up on the internet. They don't care. That wasn't mentorship. The mentorship was me going and sitting with them, commenting why the market's going to do what it's going to do before it happens. And 90% accurate plus. You saw it again here publicly. Everybody, oh, he's a liar. It's not 90%. He gives two sides of the market. Like, so when did you ever see me do two sides of the market this year? It's going to go here. Or it's going to go there. Nope. If I don't have one side, in this, I say, well, I'm, I'm right now I'm waiting. One-sidedness, that's it. They make streets after me one way. And if I don't have the understanding of where I think the market's going to go, then I hope and I have no opinion. I have no bias. I have to sit still and wait for more information. And when the information comes, then I share it again. Mentoring is taking the information that's in those core content and applying it to real right now market conditions. That's what mentorship is. That's what mentorship was. And I'm not mentoring you right now. I'm enjoying myself. I'm giving away something for free that all these losers on the internet are trying to sell. You don't need to pay that. You're going to get these videos and you're going to find out that, hey, the author gave them to me. And you're also going to know that I told the truth. Mentorship was hard. It was everything like a fire hose. And I told them how to make that model on YouTube. They were told how to do that. They were also told how to make their own independent model. And I gave them 12 unique models that were by themselves you know, usable. But I made it as simple as I possibly could by creating that model on YouTube. Fair value gap after shift to market structure, after stops have been taken, find equilibrium, aim for that with a, uh, a PD array, and that's it. You're done. You're not trying to make it more than that. And that makes money, folks. Real fucking money. Real money, not demo dollars. The really real shit, the stuff you got there and put gas in your tank with, stuff you feed your children with, yeah, clothe yourself. You can't do that with demo dollars. And I proved it. And all of you that are exercising the information and putting it to the task, you're proving it to yourself. And that's all I've ever asked. If I'm full of shit, put it to task. Test it. See. If you recklessly fucking go in and risk more than you're supposed to or overtrade, that's not me fucking telling you to do that. You blew that. Nowhere is it where I'm saying overtrade, trade every day. You're looking for one choice set up per week. Period. You're, con you're controlling yourself that way. Some of you have proven that you don't have self-control, but you want to put the fault on me afterwards. Wrong. Own that shit. You for me. Young man got himself all the way up to the number two spot on FTMO leaderboard. Vinny, you're saying that's a fluke. I don't think it's a fluke. I see a lot of that kind of stuff in real accounts. You just don't see it.
I have a lot of people because of things like you're doing and have done for a year and what other people have trolled and talked shit about. You've, uh, you made a condition where a lot of students don't want to draw any special attention to themselves because they don't have the tolerance that I have. They don't have the tolerance to deal with people constantly talking shit about them, and they don't want to be on social media. There's a lot of my students that aren't on Twitter. There's a lot of students that aren't following me on my YouTube channel. A lot of them have moved on because they now found their model, and they don't give a fuck what I'm talking about now because I'm a distraction to them. They found what works for them, and if I say anything, it confuses them based on what they've been grown accustomed to trusting, and that's graduation. See, I want you as the listening student to not give a fuck what my opinion is, not give a fuck what I'm trading. Not care what I'm interested in, what trade I'm in, what was my profit, where was my stop loss. You're asking all those questions. You got all the wrong focus. You should be looking at the chart and saying, okay, how would have I done that very trade that he's showing? Where would I have done it wrong? What problems would have arised if I would have used my own entry strategy versus what I'm seeing him do? They're critical questions. And guess what that's doing? It's putting the spotlight on you and how you think about price. And then weighing out what it is that you're growing and learning over time. Not just expecting me to spoon feed you. This is what it's going to be. Because I'm going to tell you something, folks. I am very, very private going forward. And very low key. Because there's a lot of preparation I still have to complete. Because I know what's coming. And I have family members. I have close friends that I'm helping, and I don't want to be distracted with this Mickey Mouse shit. These markets are going to create some of the wildest fucking shit you've ever seen in terms of price movement. And if I'm able, I want to be a participant in that. Next year, I'm telling you right now, food, commodities, grains, they're going to go to three through the move. They're going to run probably parabolic because there's shit that's been put in motion right now. Fertilizer. Can't get hold of it. Crops have been reduced. Water take for irrigation has been limited. Folks, you have no idea what the fuck's about to come down. If you have not been paying attention, let me spell it out for you. We are entering what you might consider the last days. And if that's just too much for you, well, good day. But we're entering that. Famine. Disease, war, children rising up against their parents, all that stuff, it's being engineered right in front of you. You don't even see it. But this stuff. Who's got more money? Who can trade better? Whose system's better? Cuts out of the bag now. When I came out on Baby Pips, that's the reason why. I saw this and I wanted to make an impact. I wanted to do something good where hopefully I could feel like I've done something positive because a lot of you folks were on the other side of my trades when I'm making money and you had no idea why. You don't have a field. Now, some of you feel like you do have an even playing field, <clears throat> but it's worse than you think. And it's not a two-party thing. It's not a Republican. It's not a Democrat thing. It's not just an American. This is going to be everywhere, folks. Everywhere. And what you use to pay for your fucking food right now, it's going to be real hard to get your hands on that stuff. They're going to control everything. And they're squeezing as tight as they can get it, slowly but surely. And you're going to wake up and you're going to realize it's too late. And some of that might scare the shit out of you. It might scare you, make you anxious right now. The only thing you can do is prepare. How do you do that? Non-perishable food. If you're making money in the markets and if you're not preparing your household for your family members and you with non-perishable food, water, ways to filter water. And when the lights believe me when I tell you, they are got to go out. Power is going to be messed with because everybody sitting with freezers like me 
stocked with food. I got beef, chicken, all kinds of stuff stocked up. But if the power goes out for a month, I don't have that stuff anymore. Oh, that ain't going to happen. That can't happen. It's coming. Not just in America. It's coming everywhere. Watch what happens in the UK over the next six months. Just sit back and watch. Pay attention. And then you'll see who's full of shit then. I'd like to find a way to end this one with a positive note, but I really don't have it today. So the only thing I'm going to think to say is this coming week, be careful. Don't trade too much. Don't expect too much from the marketplace. Uh, S&P, you watched the trade up into volume and balance on the daily chart. And it, it obviously did that. Went a little bit above it. I don't have an opinion right now. I want to see how we open up on Sunday and how we deliver on Monday. So no trading, no engagement for me on Monday. I want to see how we engage. And then I'll see what I see in the charts there. I don't have an opinion. Um, admittedly, my my head's cloudy because my all of my focus is trying to get this house landed because the list pardons is, I didn't even know what the hell that was. But this guy literally is holding up the whole process with a fake claim that he had a offer on the house that I have a signed offer on. I'm, I'm the only one that has a signed offer. And meeting with the owner of the house last night and his wife put me at ease that, you know, there is no other sign. Because, I mean, how do I know, right? How do I know he didn't do another signed offer? And that would have created a mess. But I have $100,000 earnest deposit on the account for purchase and we're slated for October 17th. So my head is a little disturbed because of all this stuff because I want the property. And I'm committed to you know, taking it down and putting it in my portfolio. And I have a scammer out there trying to lay claim to something, which when we get to court, it'll be smashed. Like he, like we have his text message from his buying agent stating, if we don't have a signed contract tonight, we're done. Okay, you've rescinded your offer. And you've admitted also that you don't have a signed offer or a signed uh, contract, which means you have shit. I have a ratified. So when we get in the court, that house is mine. So that's where I'm at. That's where my focus has been this week. It's been a little distracting for multiple reasons. And it would be very easy for me to just unload on you, Vinny, if that was my nature. If that was my intent, I have the perfect reasons to do all that. And I don't feel that. I just want you to think about what you're doing. Think about what you're gaining from it because you're not gaining anything. And you're promoting more toxicity than you're doing anything positive. You're not convincing anyone that's out there using what I'm doing and teaching. And they're making real money. You're not convincing them of anything except for clout. You're trying to, de you're trying to raise up this cancel culture against me. And I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. I, I'm not that person you're painting me out to be. I'm not the person that many of you think. If you were in my home and I live my day-to-day -day life, I'm just a plain, soft-spoken, not trying to raise too much attention to myself kind of guy. I, I'm, I'm not the kind of person that you think I am. And I mentioned this many times in the past when people say, I want to meet you. I've only met one person on the internet. One person. I met him in the parking lot of my high school. And I only did that because I was trying to get the, per the persons that were recording my family. I had told the person, I said, listen, I'm you know, the only reason why I met you is because we're being recorded right now. So I had my own investigators doing the same shit. And we saw the same tan suburban. And then we ran all the information, and he's not a licensed private investigator. We knew where he lives. We knew his name, everything. We knew there was GPS units put on our cars. We had Apple AirTags placed on our cars. And they're hard to find. 
So I just got rid of the cars and bought new ones. Cash. Like I've never wanted to be out here flashing things. That's never been my my goal. Because frankly, the things I do outside of trading and teaching can, can pay for all these things that I have and more. You don't know anything about me. I've made money my entire life. But I'm passionate about teaching because I know that's a skill set that's transferable. And Vinny, when you said you would delete all your shit on your channel, if I just proved that I had two Corvettes, I know why you were doing it. Because you wanted to be able to take that and twist it and say, look, he's out there showing pomp. But I have all that stuff recorded showing that you literally promised that if I did that and I made sure everybody saw it, I said, look, you said I don't have these things. I have them. Now delete your fucking channel. Delete your bullshit about me because it's real. I don't need to do this stuff. You want to go out and watch me buy a Lamborghini? I can fucking do that, Sammy. Cash. The fuck does it matter to me? See, you all need that kind of stuff because you're broke. You need to see those types of things because it motivates you. I'm not motivated by that. I'm motivated by not having to do shit. The lifestyle of not having to listen to somebody else. I got fuck you money. I've had fuck you money since I was 20s. You're all worried about losing your job, and I'm giving you a way not to worry about it. But you want to worry about what the fuck I'm driving, what I sleep in, what my children are going to be given. Listening to some guy talk about some fucking bullshit email. My children were on an underage. How the fuck could they have a $500,000 house? Think, man. Some of you people don't even fucking do math correctly. Run around saying, oh, I did... Student fraud in California. I've never stepped foot in California. And the date of that person that was charged for student fraud, that was seen, I'm not the only Michael Huddleston. There's actually an actor out there that's a little bit older than me. But these people that put this bullshit up about me, it's fucking dumb, man. That property in Dundalk, I still have my mentorship licensed through that address because family members collect the mail for me. I set that up. I set up a apartment when i first started up too i used that as another location because i know people can look up shit and i didn't want people coming to my house do a search do inner circle trader llc it'll show sollers point road to this day i'm not sleeping there you motherfuckers think i'm sleeping there i'm not sleeping there Anytime you folks have ever rose up and said some bullshit, I've always been out there to correct you on it. Nobody else does that. Nobody else comes out there and puts that much effort into putting your mind at ease. But you worry about that dumb shit and you ignore the obvious when I tell you what this market's going to do and then I trade it. And then I trade it with a live account and you ignore it. <laughs> That's stupid, right? You think I'm sweating bullets like I need to have this done. Oh, ICT, why are you worrying about this? I'm not worrying about this. You don't know the people that literally are sitting on the fence saying, I just, this bothers me that you don't just get out there and smash them. Why? Why, why do I need to smash them? I'm already out here doing my everyday thing and just rising above everybody else doing the bullshit that they do. All these killer traders out there, these people that are smoking 201, 150 to 1 are multiple trades. Why the fuck are you still trading micro lots? Micro lots. Dude, what the fuck? My truck takes more gas than your fucking account has it in balance. Think about that, okay? And you're out here worrying about what the fuck I'm doing. So, Vinny, yes. I do believe you can trade. I knew that early on. And I was giving you the opportunity to have a larger audience, and I was willing to work with you then. But you chose. You chose, and you acknowledged and agreed that you went fucking nuclear one, Adam.
made it public. And just like Chris Laurie said, there's a little bit too much drama with you, Huddleston. I got to take a step back. Let me tell you something. Have you noticed I haven't changed who I am? Because I don't give a fuck who wants to affiliate themselves with me or not. I'm me. I am an army of just me. Just me. And that's enough. There's a lot of people that reach out to me and they say, hey, can, can you come on my live stream? Can you come on my show? Come do that. And most of the time, I just ignore it. There's a gentleman out there, Aaron Corbs. I've been pushing, trying to get him to grow an audience because I think what he's been trying to do, which has been in, admittedly of a struggle for him, and he's admitted that. But it's also something that I can relate to because I have obsessive compulsive disorder. Once I have something that's on my mind, it's like that piece of meat stuck between your teeth. Your tongue just keeps going back to it. So if it's the good things, it's, that's not a problem. But if it's a bad thing, then I feel like I got to just keep going back and keep packing and just do what I did this year. Everything you can do, I can do better. And I can prove it with cash. Live accounts. Precision. Perfect. Highs and lows. Weekly highs and lows. Daily highs and lows. Undeniable. Pick the closing price. Boom. I'm not a magician. I'm a technician. You heard about the composite man? I am that motherfucker. Do you understand that? That's who I am. I've always been who I am. I see what you can't see. And I prove it. Thought I had more iced tea in this glass. <laughs> I don't. I'm out. So, anyway, oh, this is a ego session. No, it's not. It's just me talking because you don't know the people that are having real, genuine concerns about things that I address. Oh, he's so insecure. No, I'm not. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. What's in it for me? What am I going to get from you? Huh? I'm on Twitter. I'm not getting any ad revenue off of that. I live on fucking Twitter. It's not monetized. I love doing this. I love it. Because I know I'm making an impact on those that want to listen. And understand that I'm addressing things that the people that have these problems with me, you know, that's their problem. That's your fucking problem. If you're choking on shit that I won't dance to what you want me to do, I don't give a fuck about your other competitions. The only one competition matters to me. That one up there. Oh, he's going to choose this because it could be faked. No, you can't fake a fucking competition when it's one account, one account number. The bounce is shown beforehand. And then when you're done, that same account is shown. This is it. There's a lot of motherfuckers out there talking, talking, and talking, and talking. And they don't want to do shit. Oh, I filled out a piece of paper. Look at this. I signed up. That's not, that's not registering for real, Sam. That's not registering for real. That's you putting your name on a piece of paper that Robbins has no understanding or awareness that you did that. <laughs> and you call yourself a Christian. You're a lie. You're a fraud. Prove me otherwise. Because I'm right here with bells on. Waiting. Waiting and begging and waiting and begging. And still... Everybody's got excuses. Oh, but you didn't. But I'm ready. But you won't. But I will. Think about what I shared this year. You think I'm not ready for this? <laughs> I am. I'm absolutely ready. This is all the buildup to get every talker on the hook. They'll talk until we get to that point where they got to put money into that account. Oh, he said I got to show my account number. Well, you know, you're a fraud. <laughs> what, 
wait a minute now. These guys are selling courses and mentorships. These guys are Billy Badass, the Pitmasters, the FX Kings, the Lords of Liquidity. Yeah, you'll be liquidity, all right. So, no, you didn't learn anything today from this, but it was therapy for me, and that's all that matters. I got some shit off my chest. Vinny, you got your apology. You choose not to accept it. That's on you, man. I gave you your nod. Yes, you were abused. Yes, they they messed with you. They fucked with you. I didn't know they forced you out of your account. You told me that's how it happened. I can see how that would have happened. But it's time to put that shit to bed, bro.